All righty. Uh, let's get started. Um, today, uh, I want to welcome you to my channel, Outdoor Nature Ministry, Adventure Ministry. Uh, I keep changing it, so I'm not quite, completely sure what the actual title is. But this is a Christian um, organization. Well, this is me, but um, just telling uh, about things that have been revealed to me through the Holy Spirit. And one of them today, uh, we're going to talk about pets, uh, because it's one that um, is heartbreaking. It's one that our pets don't live that long, uh, which really stinks. Um, but God keeps providing another one, um, not to necessarily replace them, but to give you another body to fill that empty void in your life. Um, so the question is, is do pets um, die and never live again? The question is, no. Um, just like us, I believe that they have a spirit just like we do. Um, I believe that um, most, if not all, of God's creation uh, returns to him. Um, he made it. He gave it the spirit. He made it live and it returns to him. Um, their life on this world is short. Um, most pets came from wild, um, wild creatures um, that have, have been domestic, what's called domesticated over a long period of time. And so the version that we see today is what has happened over uh, the last 5,000, 6,000 years. Um, I do believe in a young earth. Um, after looking at this earth and looking at the evidence, um, the evidence clearly points to that this earth is a lot younger than we think. Um, we go by the time scale that we are given today, which I don't think it's always been the same time scale. Um, but I'm getting off on a tangent. Um, but there's others that would disagree with me. Um, and claim that this world is millions or billions of years old. Um, and the truth is, we won't know the official um, amount of time that we've been here until we get to heaven. However, if you look at the book of Adam and Eve, um, because of the curse of the garden, God um, makes a promise to Adam and says that, and that he will undo... Um, I don't know quite what the wording is. It will um, that this generation and your your ancestors will go on about five thousand or fifty five hundred years, um, and then I will end the time and um, we and everyone will go back to the Garden of Eden. Um, so I believe that we're coming to a close, and so that would be. Um, and also that's been interpreted. That was from, um, I think it started out in Aramaic and Hebrew. Um, so it may, so we may not have the quite the accurate time, but we, um, I think most people would agree that this earth is about, well, not most, uh, the young earth people would agree that it's about eh, between five and like seven or 8,000 years old. Um, I know that's a wide range, but it's better than, <laughs> the other side that it's like, okay, it's 22 million years, it's 50 million years, it's 1 billion years, um, they're all over the map. Um, and no one will really know until we get to heaven. And does it really matter? <laughs> I mean, um, the only reason why they're wanting to push the older model is because the things that come about, um, and I know I've gotten off on a tangent, um, but in order to prove scientifically some of the claims that the other side is making, um, they have to have time on their side, which they don't. Um, so, okay, back to the topic, um, do pets die? Um, I've been wondering this, um, and I strongly believe that um, pets are wait my pets are waiting for me. Um, I've had about five or six dogs. Um, I've had a hamster, mini fish, uh, two or three guinea pigs and other crit critters along the way. Um, and I believe um, that they're waiting for me in heaven. And I don't know if we'll be able to choose which ones um, are ours or which ones that we'll have. And 
and how that all looks in heaven. I have no idea. I don't know if we'll have a yard. I don't know if we'll all live in one house. I, I don't know. And it and no one no one will know that. And no one has known that until we get up there. Um, but I have been shown uh, my animals in heaven. Um, and recently when my mom lost her horse, um, I was shown that he was in heaven waiting for her. Um, so, um, but um, it seems to me like the lifespans of our pets are uh, quite limited. Um, and it beca it's because of where they came from. Um, even with the optimal conditions, um, pets don't live that long. I mean, dogs used to live on, uh, on average about 15 years in the past. Now it seems like their lifespans have been shortened. Um, but I believe that there are chemicals in our food, water, and air, um, and they're on purposely trying to cut back the amount of time um, that things live. Um, so we don't overpopulate the earth. Um, some people claim that this earth is overpopulated. However, if we really did care about everyone um, to the same standard, um, that we could have our food uh, go all over and no one would be hungry, but um, seems to me like the um, the people at the top, like the U.S. and Europe and other countries, uh, want to hog it all, um, and it's not right. Um, so that's why I give to a lot of different charities. Um, but it was, um, but when I was a kid. Um, 30 years ago, I mean, my um, our, my first dog, Grover, lived to be about 15 before he was put down. Um, and then my first dog that I totally had to myself was Ozzy, um, who lived to be about 13 years old. And um, at the end of his life, it was a battle because I um, found out he had a spleen tumor and they're like, oh, you could remove this and he would have a 10 or 15% chance of living, or um, he may bleed out on the table and die instantly. And so, um, so basically I took him home and didn't know how long I would have with him. He was breathing heavily at that time. And I just, and I prayed to God, it's like, I, I would, I mean, I was like really, really crying. Um, and I'm not ashamed to, ashamed to admit that. Um, but I asked and begged God to not take Ozzy at that time. And he and Ozzy had nine more months. Um, he had a good life. Um, the very last trip, um, he, he enjoyed it until the very end. Um, I took him on a camping trip and we went to all kinds of unique places in Texas. And um, his back end gave out on him. Um, and I actually had to walk him uh, with a rope around his butt and um, and then I think it was a week or so later that um, that he basically said I had enough, um, and they they'll they'll let you know they'll stop eating and stop drinking, and their quality of life will plummet um, usually at that time, and they'll they'll let you know it's like I'm I'm ready to go. Um, don't <laughs> um, as a sidebar, don't keep your dog around just to. Um, make you happy don't make them suffer just because you want them there and are, and are afraid to let go of them because like i said originally um we have a limited time uh here but um in heaven we have all of eternity so your pets may be gone for a short term and then we'll return to you um but my, that dog died of a, of a spleen tumor and i put him down and um his brother, who I got about partway through my first dog's life, um, he tied to the same thing. He had a swing tumor, and it was drastically short um, amount of time that I knew. It, it was, I knew, um, I, I found out um, like in December, and then three weeks later, um, I had to put him down because, I mean, it, he just plummeted. Uh, thankfully, at the last week of his life, I picked up a new dog. Um, named T um, Tobias, who means God is love, and he is an extremely loving dog, and um, and I picked him up and um, brought him home, um, 
and the torch, if you want to call it that, was passed from Bo to Toby. Um, and Toby, Toby and him were um, together for the last week of the other dog's life. And then he passed on. Um, so, so yeah. Um, and also in the book of Adam and Eve, um, it kind of hints that we are able to understand um, understand animals um, and we can hear them. Um, this may be sound crazy, but I I I don't I don't know what heaven will be like and if we'll be able to, I mean, I guess understand their language and it's like and know what they're saying, or if we'll flat out be able to talk to them. I, I don't know. Um, but I can't wait for heaven. That'd be pretty cool, having all all of the pets that I used to own. Um, so, yeah, um, I believe this world is a test and the proving ground for us to choose between Elohim in this world or God in this world. Uh, I believe that um, God wants us to see all the different things of this life and get to experience different things. Um, there's things that we have to learn that uh, are, will be applied in heaven. Um, there's different choices that we, we have to make. Uh, we all mess up thousands of times. Um, and we are, um, if you repent and turn back, um, you're forgiven. Um, I didn't live, uh, I mean, I grew up in the church, but I kind of turned away um, during my college years and um, just did things that I'm not proud of. Spent a lot of time on the computer, and you know what's on the computer. Um, and it led me to um, things that I don't care to share. Well, I mean, you, you know where I'm going with this. But I, I've had to fight a lot of inner demons because of my online um, but this world, um, I mean, even for our pets, was not meant to be um, that long. And for some pets, this world is short for a reason because they're in a horrible situation. Um, so, but sadly, many people choose this world in a sin that is so prevalent. God wants the people that love him, honor him, and show him by following his ways and his laws. There's reasons why God's laws exist, and they are there to protect us, not to hurt us. Heaven wouldn't be heaven if there was deceit, slander, malice, lust, envy, coveting, pranking, and jesting. All of these are, are sins and should never be allowed in heaven. Could you imagine heaven and having people make fun of you or mock you or, or go after you and angry and shoot you and kill you? Um, not my version of heaven. Um, I... And that's why God doesn't allow it. He doesn't want competition in heaven. He doesn't want, he wants a people that love each other and care for each other and constantly are there for each other. Um, in the world we live in now, I mean, people, I mean, have stupid reasons for these different um, reasons why we cut each other out. It's like, oh, well, you, you like this team and I like that team. And, oh, well, I could never love a person like you because you're, you're a city person and, and I'm a, I don't know, a country bumpkin. Um, and we make all these different titles and it's like, why can't we all just get along? Um, if this world were all one, I mean, can you imagine a whole lot of all of us being this one type of person, one type of hairstyle, one type of way of living? This world would be pretty boring. <laughs> Um, just like animals, it's like there's a lot of different types of animals, and they're there for us to use and to enjoy. Uh, we have dominion over them, um, but we treat wild animals like poop. Um, we run them over. Um, we, um, we take their areas and then force them out of that area. Um, many animals get hit on, alongside the road. Uh, usually on, almost on a daily basis. So I see a new raccoon or possum um, and the numbers of actual wildlife out there is drastically dwindling. Um, but um, I believe that they're home in heaven with God. So, um, but our, our animals are there to provide us companionship, um, laughter, 
um, joy, happiness, um, but they die way too quick. Um, and but they but they may die here, but their spirit lives on. Um, and God and His angels and the people that are already in heaven take care of them until you're home, uh, which I hope everyone does come home. I mean, God God does love you and wants everyone home, but um, we make the choice um, as to if we want Him or if we want this world. And sadly, um, the majority of us choose this world. Um, there's many false teachings out there, uh, like the prosperity gospel. Uh, once saved, always saved. Um, these are not right. Um, look at the Old Testament and Isaiah, Jeremiah, um, and how many times, um, or oh, uh, judges and kings, there's also, it's like every time um, that people turned away from God, God was like, okay, I'm done with you. And then you had a person show up um, that was in line with what God wanted and pulled everyone back. And God said, okay, you're my people again. Um, so I do not believe once saved is always saved. Um, yes, Jesus did die for us, but if he died for us, then why are there two different accounts um, where people went astray and then came back? Um, one is the prodigal son, where clearly the son went off and did the worldly things and then came back. And then the other that I want to point out is the ten virgins. Um, ten virgins that, in my opinion, were are clearly in line with what God wanted. Um, but um, there were five virgins that were not ready, that didn't have their lamps full of oil. And I believe that full of oil is um, is basically keeping in line with what God um, God want, wanted for their lives um, and keeping in God's word. Um, you can't just say, okay, I'm saved, and then go back to this world and expect to um, to keep the right life. Um, I've I found in my own life that um, when I've gone astray, that um, it's harder to go back. Um, and it's God wants you fully on his side and he'll give you everything that you could want in heaven. Um, and I don't think a lot of us know what we want here. Uh, we're just trying to fill voids and hurts and pains that um, only God can fill. Um, and pets are one of them. I mean, it's, yeah, they're, they're gone too quickly. Um, so we get another one or another five of them. Um, but I believe we'll see them again. Um, um, and there's a talk about the rainbow bridge which basically they go to the other side which i believe is heaven and um i don't know how they're taken care of up there i've not had that revealed to me and i, I just know that they're being very well taken care of and having a great life um so um thank you for joining me and i will uh see you on the flip side